Alright everybody, today I'm going to be rebarreling my 19 inch wet craze. Rat zingers, uh, I have a 7 inch barrel and a 3 inch lip and these are my front wheels. Built these wheels kind of to fit, not around any specific specs. But uh, after I got my tires put on the last time, I was having issues with this wheel leaking. And I think the issue is that the hole is a little overed out. And it wasn't sitting good around there and it was leaking. So I just bought a whole new barrel. Uh, I have all of my barrels painted black. It just, to me, they flow a whole lot better. They look a whole lot cleaner when it's not silver. It doesn't reflect as much light and all that stuff. So what I'm going to do now, that I'm going to paint the inside of this barrel. I have about an hour of daylight left. And it's kind of chilly out here. But I want to do this now so that way tomorrow morning, uh, towards the morning afternoon, I can start reassembling because today's Friday. So that way by Tuesday, I can take it to the tire shop, get the tire put back on, put it back on the car. So to paint barrels, I'm just going to wipe it down really good with my lift off all surface paint prep. Once that dries, I'm going to hit it with the Rust-Oleum self etching primer, about two coats worth. And then after that, I'm going to hit it with the Rustoleum matte finish. I just paint it because the black barrels just look pristine. Hides all the grime and dirt and stuff behind the wheel. It is 1034. I have until 11 o'clock. So that's about 26 minutes. Let's see how far we can get in 26 minutes. Because I got to go to work tomorrow morning. Now that all the hardware is on, I'm going to take this blue Loctite and apply it to the threads. It is 10.55, so after this, I'm calling it a night because you have to know when to call it quits. You have to stand firm on something sometimes. So, And the only reason why I'm putting Loctite uh, on these bolts is because I've had bolts back out. I think I've probably had probably 10 of these back out um, and go missing. So I'd rather go ahead and blue lock tight them because I have one um, on one of my wheels right now that's actually uh, backed out. <laughs> So per the internet, these M8 bolts should be about 16 to 18 foot pounds. My quarter inch torque wrench or my three eighths torque wrench uh, that does inch pounds. So I'm going to set it to 18 foot pounds uh, and or 25 Newton meters.
so 18 foot pounds and or 25 newton meters. It is now 11.23. I said I was going to stop at 11, but it's going to take me like five more minutes to take this off. To tape this off and do the bead. So let's go ahead and do it now. And the sauce that I'm using is going to be this Dalsal 732. I never bothered to look for it locally. I just ordered off of Amazon. I'm going to put this in my caulk gun. I'm going to cut a nice 45 degree angle tip so that it lays nice and smooth in that jump. Oh. Can y'all see? All right. Make sure you push it down in the crack. So let's clean this up. Fasten what your mama get cleaned up before you come home and meet your stepdaddy for the first time. And then we're going to let this sit for 48 hours. If you've not tried these, these Memomart PB&J waffle sticks, these are delicious. The perfect garage snack. So yeah, leave your favorite shop snack in the comments below. And we get them cleaned up, maybe wash the car. Either way, I'll be back once it's all said and done. And yes paint your barrels black it looks so much cleaner when they are black it hides all the dirt grime if you got a third gen Mazda 6 it will hide the axle grease whenever they decide to die but yes yeah, uh, and once I get them back on the car I might hit them with the um, the mother's power ball what everything's called and try to polish your lips up because I've been neglecting them. So I will be back when I'm putting them on the car because I'm ready to be back on four wheels, not four flags like a Cadillac. So we get the wheel rebuilt, tire on, and we back rolling on all foes. Back on all foes, everything looking good. Back rolling all foes. And also, if you haven't seen yet, if you would like to order some floating center caps, and if he doesn't make them for your wheel, uh, I think the test kit is like five dollars. If you contact Visual Auto Works and it's W E R K S, he can get you some floating center caps made for your wheels. This is the first set for the Weds, Cranes, Rat Zingers. Uh, 10 tab and I do have some videos on the install and a like a nine minute first drive video with these bad boys too so if you want some floating caps for your wheels 
Visual Auto Works. Like I said, W-E-R-K-S. So this will be the end of this video. In everything that you do, always remember to think, build, and enjoy. Peace.